a lot of Roblox games have a similar issue, and that is this. Invisible walls. The player can no longer pass them, which works for the developer, but it doesn't really work well for the player because it's a bit limiting, I guess? It's not just new developer games that do this as well. This is Bubblegum Simulator Infinity, and as you can see, we can't walk past this area because there's invisible walls. Now, is this a huge issue in game development? No. Not at all. But is there a way cooler way to do it for the developer and for the player? Yes, let's jump in. So I was scrolling around looking for this effect and uh, Mr. Xander here has made it. This is actually sick for lack of better words. And he's using it as a force field effect, but it can be used for so, so much. Right here, he has it used for a door that you can't see until you get up to it. This one, I believe, is the invisible parts. No, this is the force field, so check that out. And this gets way cooler, too, with how customizable it is. Right here is the invisible parts. That'd be so cool, like an invisible obstacle course. I might make that. And then this one has a, a big thing crashing into the force field, which was awesome. I will have this dev form post linked down below. It's got everything you need to know, how to use it, all the stuff it's got, etc. But today, I wanted to show you guys how this could be used for borders in a game, and it just makes it way nicer. I feel like this doesn't need to be too big actually let's let's do 50 because I'm gonna have to walk across it all we'll make it green for grass and uh, here is our hexagon border so if we just left it how it is which isn't really ideal because you know most people don't really have curved maps but let's say we get to the edge of our map now we have a clear blocker saying hey you can't pass and it doesn't disrupt any of the gameplay when people are not by it I think this is really, really cool. Do I think hexagons is the way? No, not really. So the first thing that we're going to do is edit this so it works for our four-sided map. I'm going to turn the transparency um, down, I guess, so I can actually see the parts. And the only ones I'm going to keep is one, two, three, and four. So five, six, and seven, they're gone. Now I need to keep these pretty much in order here. So this is number one. We're going to put it on this side and I'm going to do the same with each of these. I'm going to just rotate and scale them until they fit where they need to go on my map. Now we're just going to go in order. That would be one. Then this one would be two. You do have to name the these guys very important this one's three and lastly number four all right I got everything renamed uh there's our invisible walls we have our four walls here and we have the checker border this is how your script needs to look if you have four sides on your map I changed the check the the texture <laughs> I changed the texture ID to just a normal checkerboard pattern. I think it works a lot better for borders, especially in the types of maps I create. And then I messed around with some of the colors for the texture. All this stuff is, is highly editable. If you don't feel like editing the script that comes with that model to this one, no worries. I will put this model uh, in development resources. But now if we click play to test it out, I forgot to anchor the floor, uh, but we're walking up. I'm definitely anchoring the floor. All right. Now, if we walk up, we can see it's a checkerboard that's fading upwards. And this happens whenever we get close to the wall. We can edit the distance, how much of this we want it to show. It does seem like a lot right here because we're on such a small pad. But if it was like map wide, it would be pretty dang good. We can also edit the offsets so these are like better lined up, but I'm not really too worried about that for right now. Anyways, I think this is a really, really cool way to block off your maps. And I just want more people to know about this because I think someone is going to do some really cool stuff with this. Anyways, the too long didn't read. Quit using invisible walls in your game and try using an effect like this. Not only does it add just a little bit more aliveness to your map. It's not in every single game. And you know what is in every single game? Invisible walls. So be a little different. Add this, it's free and it's easy. And hopefully you guys think this is as cool as I do. But that'll wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.